Hi, this is CB, and this time I'm going to talk about taking elements that you might have in a kit and changing them up just a little bit here. How ways you can sort of mix it up and, and add a little more mm, realism, I guess, for lack of a better word, to your layout. I have this kit here I'm working with. This is my Apple Time kit, and it comes with one leaf. So here's a title that I'm working on for this layout, and you'll see we've got the one leaf here, and I've just repeated it. Um, a few times to finish up the title. But, and this is okay, this is not a bad looking title I guess, but what we'll talk about is a way to give this a little bit more interest, a little bit more, um, let me zoom in just a smidge more here, more realism here to make it not look like it's the exact same perfectly lined up piece and, and everything. So let me go ahead and go down here and turn these leaves back on that I've got here to work with. Again, it's just the same leaf turned the same way, just straight across here, and as I said, that's a little bit boring. So the first thing I would probably do, just to give it a little bit to say, hey, this isn't the exact same piece over and over again, I might go ahead and work with the hue and saturation here just to slightly, slightly change this up so there's it's almost like shading. So I'll hit Control and U, which would be Command and U, with this first leaf selected and the um, hue saturation box comes up. So I might turn the saturation down a smidge here, like 9 or 10, and maybe darken it just a little. Don't go overboard here because, I mean, you still want to make it look like it's in the same color family and everything. So there's the first leaf. And then maybe the second leaf, I'll do the same thing. Select it, Control and U or Command and U, and then choose the lightness slider perhaps and just lighten it up a bit. Now maybe this one again, I might want to just not bother with saturation, but just darken it just eh, there. That's good, like 7. And now maybe this final one here, I'll control in you and then desaturate it again somewhat and lighten it up again. Uh, there, 5. That looks pretty good. So that's the first step, and now you'll look, it already has this nice variation to it. It still almost looks like it's the same could have been cut from the same piece of paper, the way the lighting is hitting it, it's just a little bit of variation there, so it doesn't quite look like the same leaf. The next thing I would do, I'll go back and select this first leaf again, and I'll go into um, Image, and let's start with Rotate. Let's um, go here, and whoops, it's always hard to work with these boxes a bit. Rotate, and then go, and maybe I'll flip this layer horizontally, that will um, change the direction. Then I could go out here, perhaps to the corner, and just rotate it a little bit, you know, something like that, and I'd be happy with that. This next one, maybe I will go into, again, image, and instead of rotate, maybe I'll go into transform here, oops, and go into distort. Distort is nice, it really lets you play with this a bit, maybe I'll just uh, squish it up a bit more. Be subtle with this, of course, especially if you're working with something where you've got noticeable lines that might look really skewed and... and warped. In the case of this little piece of paper, it's not going to look that obviously. And again, then I might take this and rotate it a bit off. And then even perhaps, well, I can't, let me uh, go in here and do it, maybe just move it and offset it a little bit. And start playing with the pieces like this, and that's a really good way to get things, this one leaf that you get in the kit, to give it a, a look like you've had more than one piece cut out of real paper rather than just this one perfect leaf cut exactly the same way over and over again. So on this case I'd, you know, the third one I go to and I do pretty much the same thing. I'd rotate it, maybe warp it a little more, maybe even flip it. Um, you can go into image, ro wait, rotate, and be sure when you do these things you go down to the bottom here these ones that are for the layer and not accidentally the ones at the top. So maybe I'd flip it vertically and then I'd have to rotate it back here because I'm kind of skewing that and then maybe, you know, move it down like that. And then keep going, add your text, do the same thing that you did, you know, rotate your text so that it matches up with the leaf direction here. And I have something done here, that's why I'm turning all these off. I've got a title that I did earlier where I basically um, accomplished what I was talking about and you'll see here it looks much different. Now where we have leaves that are rotated, there's a little bit of subtle light changing in here, 
and I think that looks much nicer, much more interesting than just straight across with the leaf going the same way and everything. So I'm CB. I hope this has helped you think about ways to take your embellishments and work with them a little bit. Thanks for watching.